Yes. We back. <laughs> we yeah. back. Shout out to Tammy. You just cut her song off. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she sorry. was just like, oh, man. Apologize. All right. We, we'll get back into some stuff again yes, soon. Yes, we will. We will. Yeah, so we're here with Jamel. He's very um, handsome, by the way. Thank you. I must admit. Um, <laughs> you know. And he got the eyelashes going on. And they're mine. And they're his. <laughs> Actually, yeah, he put me on to, okay, we're going to start makeup talk. But he put okay. me on to this. What's this, the mascara from? Lash Domination yeah. from um, Bear Minerals. Who? Bear Minerals. Oh, Bear Minerals. Oh, yeah. I'm like, okay. Bear like I was about to, wait, I was about to, I was about to mess up the name. I'm known for that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm always messing up some, some names. Yes. <laughs> yes absolutely. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't expect me to remember. Okay. So this topic, um, I don't know, it, it just crossed my mind one day because nowadays, well, I met I met Jamel at the mall. Mm-hmm. And, um, on a job. Right, yeah. on a job. He, uh, you know, hooked me up. Mm-hmm. And, um, it was you know. like love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he could work with me. So, you know, he's not, I mean, I'm, I thank you. Thank you for coming because this is not You're an welcome. easy thing to discuss. Mm-hmm. And, um, Jamel is from the gay community, uh-huh. and he agreed to come up and you know. Yes. <laughs> no, we appreciate you. Yeah, we. Yeah, I really you. appreciate thank it because you. there are a lot of people out there who are closed-minded yes. about the situation, yes. and I'm not saying I necessarily agree or disagree, but there's mm-hmm. a lot of people who have feelings about mm-hmm. this nowadays. For some reason, I don't know if it's like a. a Bad or trend, or it seems like almost well, it's, it's just cool. So yeah, like everybody's it, doing it. Yeah, right. Especially yeah. now, I see it more in little kids, like right. younger children. children. Yeah, I've seen children that are like, you know. and it's like, okay, so I don't know if something's in the water. Or, you know, I'm just <laughs> like saying, catch I just, gay. Like, you catch, I don't watch know. Out. Watch, <laughs> out, <you> know. <laughs> watch out. And you know, and a lot of I, I have a lot of male friends, uh-huh. and you know, especially. I don't want to just say Haitians, but a lot of West Indian people, yes. they, they really like frown yeah. Oh, yeah. upon it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I don't know. It's, it's just a real kind of taboo type of yes. situation. And it's kind of crazy because it's like, yeah, you see it all over the place now. And you would think that people would be a little bit, I guess, used to it now. Mm-hmm. You still get people who are like, you know, real crazy, you know, about it and like, yeah, like, no. my thing is, okay, I have a story. Mm-hmm. Now, this is the thing, okay, you're a male. Yes. So, with, for, I feel like when it comes to females and males, it's, it's kind of it's different. It's like a double standard. It's a yeah, double standard. For sure. Because yes, absolutely. For I sure. know, I know a lot of females, mm-hmm. and um, I feel that maybe something happened to them, in my opinion, that was traumatizing. Yeah or whatever that they just don't want to deal mm-hmm. with men anymore so mm-hmm. they wind up turning to women that's just like from observation right. and they won't admit it uh-huh. and you know i just had a conversation i'm not gonna put anybody on blast mm-hmm. <clears throat> excuse me but you know I, I i had a conversation with a young lady and i was with her mm-hmm. when she was she was in a long-term relationship with a guy uh-huh. and i remember when they broke up Mm-hmm. It was like tra- it was so traumatizing yeah, for her. For her, and then mm-hmm. shortly after that, I was like, okay, now I'm, um, you know, on the well, other side. Well, I just think that you know she's always had those you know thoughts in her mind. You know, that's what she told of, me. But I was yeah, like, but then you know, something you either act on it or you don't. Um, and I think that her breaking up, I don't know if it was like a messy breakup or you know, I think that she just it kind of pushed her even more to go mm-hmm. and explore and become who she probably is, you know, because there's a such thing, I think, you know, like down low guys, it might be down low girls too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True, but, you know. but then again, okay, so now what would you say about like bisexuals? Because I don't know what to make of that. Well, I, I a bisexual, I mean, I do believe that you can be attracted to both male and female. I think most times. Like, <laughs> no, that, wrong, 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 wrong button. Wrong button. Sorry, sorry. No, I just oh, think that you know what it is. I think that that's that's kind of touch and go. I think because some people, I, I have friends who are actually bisexual who are attracted to both. But I think that you always have that preference in who you like more. I think if a guy is bisexual, he usually likes 
men more than women. Mm. And I think that it's even for girls, you know, if a girl is bisexual, she's usually more prone to like, you know, messing with women. So I think it's like a stepping stone, but it does exist. But can it can it be that people are just freaks? I mean, some people oh, like just, greedy. just be people are greedy. freaky <laughs> and just want to do whatever. Because greedy. you know, I mean, I'm I'm straight. Mm-hmm. Not that I have to announce that, but what you just saying? what? No, you got to say so. What you? No, I was about to say. So, but I've been female. I've been approached by females. Right. How did you feel though? Um. <laughs> Not, I, it's just awkward because it's not something that, okay, here's the thing. I've been out to parties and, you know, I like to, not for nothing, gay people are the most fun people we to are. party with. That's true. Okay, if you, you know, know how. Into, like, I remember I went to a gay party and uh, it was more like men. Yeah. And yeah. I, this was years ago and I was in such shock because I was like, wait they, it's a no, minute. It's not a look. They don't, a lot of them don't quote unquote look. Yeah, no, you know, because like I'm thinking these are yeah. like thugged out, right. you know, and I'm looking at them like, hold on, wait, wait a minute. You see him dancing or twirling in the corner. So like, <laughs> right, oh. and I'm uh-huh. like, okay, uh-huh. but but they're fun, definitely fun to party That's with. That's true. But I've been to clubs and I can dance with a girl. Mm-hmm. Even if she if she's a lesbian, that's fine. I can dance with a girl right, right. and bug out and ha ha he he and we all you know mm-hmm. hands in the air and all yeah. of this and then keep it moving. Right. But guys, you no. can't. <laughs> yeah, guys. Guys, that I would I'll admit it would look weird if two guys <laughs> that was supposed to be straight dancing with each other. I'd like scratch my head too. Yeah, yeah like like gay that's guys. It. You guys can't. Because even a gay guy would be like, Yo, you're pissing me off. Like you're throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> Like either you gonna yeah, but but females we love gay we we love the gay boys that's we true. we love them yes why is that maybe because we don't feel the pressure of anybody hitting on us and we know that we don't gotta worry about nobody you know coming on to us and it's just you know mm-hmm. most times out. I think like um the girls and you know straight girls and gay guys they get along because we're still men and we still kind of. You know, give you, you that. Understand. Yeah, we understand you from both perspectives. I think you know where you are like, oh, let's go shopping, and you know, we still <laughs> guys. You know, we right. still guys. I think that's like the that manly sense is still somewhat there. So, so what do you feel about? Okay, here's the thing, because mm-hmm. you're you're still a man mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. There are people out there who don't agree whatsoever, and like, what would you say about you know, because it's in the Bible, right. and mm-hmm. you know. Um, I'm looking at a, a excerpt here from mm-hmm. you know Leviticus, and it says, "Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind; it is an abomination." Mm-hmm. Well, you got the point. Well, you know what? I think yeah. that that's that's. Um, I mean, do you feel like? How do you feel about that? Because, oh, let me ask you this. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Okay, have you ever? I mean, have you ever been with a woman? Yes, I had girlfriends. I'm cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is cute. He is cute. <laughs> I've had girlfriends. I did, and it's. Funny because now they lesbians too, which is weird. But oh, really? that's something different. But yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no. But I've been, I've had girlfriends before. I have, yeah. So how, like, what's your longest relationship with a woman? Um, probably like a year, and I was in high school. In high school. Yeah, that. So, but I mean, like early high school, like late middle school, early. High school. So how early did you know, or how early did, did you, you feel, feel like yeah. you were attracted to men? Um, there was always. I remember as a kid, and I had just a pretty much normal upbringing. You know, uh, you know, great family support. You like a troublemaker over there. I was a badass kid. <laughs> like I was, with, I was hanging <laughs> out like with the boys like and fighting and. You know, motorcycle, little bikes, and you know, I was very you, you was about that life. loved Jordan. <laughs> still, you know, that kind of kid. I really, you know, that was how I was brought up. And um, I don't know. I just always felt like I've identified more. I just always felt that way. I don't. As long as I, as young as I can remember, I mean, kindergarten. I remember some. You know, I remember all that. Like just as long as I can remember, I've always. You know, been, you it's know, it's funny because I I um I know that. I didn't have any traumatic experience where it was like, oh, okay, you know, it just always. Yeah, that was my next question. Yeah, how did you know, or when did it, like, when when was the transitioning starting for you? Well, it it's hard because even though I had a supportive family, it was just I always knew that there was something that I liked about this boy. Speaking from you know when I was young, and then I just didn't completely understand it you know I didn't know how to say oh I'm gay and this is a sexual preference you know I just was a kid 
So I kind of just always, I don't know, I just, mm, that's a good question. I don't know, I just always, I felt it. I can't even explain it more. If you ever felt something or for someone, then you'll know how that feels. So is, is it possible that like nothing inside of you made you say like, nah, I shouldn't do this? No, mm, not at all. Or you, you never questioned like, you know. Like I, stopping, like you didn't think it was. A I did, of course. I think that all of us, you know, most gay guys have had that moment where it's like, nah, I can't do this. I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying? Just because the lifestyle in general, in terms of like, I I used to say that when I when I would maybe date somebody or, you know, it didn't work out. I'm like, nope, I'm about to go, you know, back to girls, I guess, you know, or whatever the case may be. But then that's that's over in a few minutes, and then. You write back texting somebody else or receiving texts, you know. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. well, um, another thing I want to ask. So, do you mind if I ask how you can age? ask me anything you want? How old are you? Twenty-seven. Okay, so he's still young. And I'm not going through a fade phase. There's yeah, so no choice, no, no chance that it would just be a phase. The phase. No, I, the phase would be when you are a teenager, when you are going through that. I don't know who the hell I am yet, you know. I think that that's when you're going, it could be a phase, but then it's still you, if you even thought about it, it's there, you know? I don't know. I don't know. You go ahead, Betty. You want to no, because I know you said it, it happened, but you didn't, I guess you said you felt something, but when did you make it public? Like, public. like from Yeah, like, like, like your mom, you know, your yeah. family, yeah, like, yeah, when I mean, did you? When did you make that point? Like, you know what, this is what it is. Um, I, I came out to my family when I was, 15 or 16 and oh, I told yeah. you don't want to <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I love that <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's. but I um no I told my mother you know one day I was like mom I just want to talk to you about something and you know we just kind of sat down and she was like when I told her she was like I knew I was waiting for you I know oh. how you was raised I watched you as a kid wow. Oh, wow and she was just like give me a hug and a kiss and I love you and oh, you're that's both beautiful nice. and that's it wow. you know it's, it's funny because I was wait what? No, I gotta ask this question. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Forget, forget, since you yeah. cut me off, go ahead. It must yeah. be important. It must yeah, be yeah, important. Yeah, yeah. yeah ethnicity, dude. Yeah. Um, okay, so both of my parents are from here. We're African American. Okay. You know, mixed on my mom's side a little bit, but um, we're not West Indian. We're all <laughs> from here. Okay. He's American. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're right. from here. Mm -hmm. All I mean, from down south, and then. Right, we right. taking notes about that. Right. We're gonna talk about something about that. Yeah. Oh too. gosh. <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. After you don't throw me off. Sorry. 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 I apologize. Sorry about that. So um, the thing is, right? Mm -hmm. With with so okay, you said nothing has happened to you at all no. because I know that sometimes there's studies and they say it always has something somehow to do with some traumatic some experience. Kind of rape or nobody molested you, nobody no. did anything to you, no. nobody took advantage of you. Definitely not. not no. Okay, I'm just saying. Because if that was the case, I mean, I'm an open book. I would have that would have been already yeah. discussed. He said no. And, <laughs> <you know. laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> told me I could ask what I wanted to ask, you know, I mean, okay. So, um, on the female side, mm -hmm. I have been approached, you know, and made it clear that, you know, I'm not a lesbian, mm -hmm. even though they approached me. I don't know. So, it, are there, like, signs, like, for women? Because, okay, this is a true story. I had no idea. I have, um, like, family member, you could say. And mm -hmm. this girl, she was like my niece. Mm -hmm. And me, her, and another girl, we used to hang out all the time. Right. All the time, partying, you know, mm -hmm. doing whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, one day she, you know, she was like, oh, I got to talk to you. Oh, God. And you know what's crazy. So I was like, okay, so what, what is it? Mm -hmm. So she was like, well, you know, um, I don't know how you're going to feel about this, but, you know, <laughs> I'm me and this girl are together. I was mm -hmm. like, oh. together? What do you mean, like, together, together? Oh. <laughs> So I was like, okay. So all I said was, listen, I don't agree right. with right. the lifestyle or whatever it is. I don't agree with it, but I still love you. Mm -hmm. You're my, you know, you're my family. I, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't change mm -hmm. how I feel about the person mm -hmm. because sometimes I think that people lose sight and they're so, um, what's the word? They're so focused on, I guess, like the sexual right. thing. There's so much more. It's, and I know I don't walk around saying, oh, well, I'm a heterosexual. Right. I don't walk right. around I'm saying, straight. I'm right. straight, you know. Right. And um, 
even there's an athlete. What's this guy's name? Michael uh, Sam. Yeah, Michael Sam, yeah, the yeah, football he player. Like, mm-hmm. He knew. Yeah. Yeah. He okay. kissed his boyfriend on TV. I thought that was great. Now, <laughs> a lot. Of, I heard about that, and I saw a picture. I saw, mm-hmm. I saw a picture, and I'm like, OMG. Now, this is my thing. Mm-hmm. Mm. With the PDA, the public okay. displays of affection. Okay, okay. see, see yeah. this is my thing. Mm-hmm. If I'm out, I don't necessarily, I don't mind kissing my um, mm-hmm. significant other, mm-hmm. you know, on the mouth or whatever the case is. But sometimes it's just a little too much, regardless of, um, you know, what the sexual orientation right. is. I don't feel like you need to be slapping anybody that, down. Yeah, like, me, public, I, mean, like, I, I was think, never. Ever, ever, ever like that. Like I'm not into PDA. I'm very affectionate, but I don't like to do it. In like public. just, I just think I'm it was to prove a point hands. or something. Yeah, oh. I'm not. I don't. I'm not into holding hands. Don't put your arms around my waist. Neither am I gonna. I'm not gonna do yours. I'm not. I'm not doing any of that. I don't really. You're not doing the caveman grab the hand. No, I'm definitely not doing that. I'm not doing any of that. Like I don't mind. Like you know sitting next to you to you know but like or you know but like i'm not we're not holding hands so so you don't think that was a little too much it's annoying it's what it is to me i was at work today and it's just this couple just standing and they're straight and they just standing there right in front of the store this glass window and they just i mean tongue at each other (sighs) it was just gross i'm not into that do it on your own time (laughs) Mm -hmm. yeah i just feel like you know you just have to respect people and yeah. um i don't know you know there's been plenty of cases where people have been just attacked mm-hmm. because of their orientation right well that's not that's never happened to me ever i've never gotten you know people will say certain things but i think that it's just a look that you have to have and then you know people know what to try with certain people you know and that's so so that's who you could go down I'm a man. I still <laughs> will bust your, you know. Yeah, I, I think people. <laughs> He's might, about that life, right? Yeah, people <laughs> might think I'm that. I'm not a violent person. I don't, you know. I'm not into like. You know that violent when he said that not violent, right? Um, I know. Yeah. Okay, I'm, like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm like it happens we're, sometimes. We're, we're well, I'm an Aries. I'm a fire sign, so that's you know. I'm you just, know, with fire. You know, just don't play sure. with me because I'm gonna hurt you. I don't want to, but I'm like. Yeah, I've seen. I've, I've seen. <laughs> Yo, gay people, their mouth is Reckless. crazy. I'm one of them, but I'm chilling out. You haven't been cursed out if you haven't been cursed out by them. There's, yes. no, there's, there's a whole nother level. It's, it's a whole nother yeah, level. Different. They don't even it just, curse. It cuts. It's just like, they don't even if they hit you. They just curse it's you out, say a few words, and it's like, damn, I'm appalled. Like, <laughs> they don't even have to curse. Can we get a sample? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they wow. don't even have to curse. They will They will just read you like, just oh, real well, quick, that's why your, to your pants or something. Right. So they will say anything. Just They're to quick to throw labels, like yeah. names and stuff. Oh, they'll tell you what they got on in a minute. Mm. And so I'm not into stuff like that, though. But wow. Wow. People are really into that, like, oh, my jeans, a helmet, like, oh, whatever it is. Like, like who cares? Like, what? Okay. You know, you still look terrible. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you tuned into In the Mix Mondays at Info Session. If you want to call in, you want to chime in on a topic, hotline is 1 760 1422. You're going to get we, into some music. Yeah, we're going to get into some music and <laughs> we'll be back again. This is really interesting. I'm yes. having fun. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>